Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Holy frickin' moly, the fear-mongering continues. You know, we've been sitting here patiently waiting for Kamala Harris and the DNC at large to really lay out their policy proposals, their 2024 platform, but at this point I have gray hair, I have a full bushy beard, and I'm completely emaciated. I simply can't wait any longer. What we're currently experiencing from the DNC, let's call it substance starvation. I'm hungry for some substance, but we're just not getting anything. Of course, day one of the DNC, you're probably hoping to see what they're all about outside of the vasectomies and the abortions and whatnot. But instead, what did we get? We got six hours of orange man bad. Donald Trump. 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 Who in the hell does he think he is? Who does he think he is? These people are sick. Trump this, Trump that, Trump, 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 Trump. And very little, I mean almost zero on policy. You know, it's been obvious, but I guess now it's blatantly obvious that the Democrats have no interest in running on actual policy. They probably know that their policies aren't all that popular, and so instead they're running on fear-mongering nonsense. In other words, lies, right back to the old tactic, not running on policies, not running on a vision for the nation, just freaking making shit up. Literally. Let's take a look at the latest fear-mongering Democrat talking point. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks. Now, I'm not sure who's watching PBS News these days, so you probably didn't see it, but you might have caught it on Twitter. But did you guys catch this clip? One thing that uh, the Harris campaign would love is if President Biden would bring home a ceasefire in the Middle East uh, right now between Gaza yeah. and Israel. And yeah. we know that uh, Secretary of State Blinken is over there right now working with Netanyahu. The reporting is that former President Trump is uh, on the phone with the, the Prime Minister of Israel, urging him not to cut a deal right now because that is, it's believed that would help the Harris campaign. So um, I don't know uh, where, where that, I don't know, who knows wh whether that will come about or not, but I have to think that um, the Harris campaign would like for President Biden to, to do what presidents do, which yep. is work on that one. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I don't know if these people think they're slick, but this is obvious fake news. It's the same thing all the time, right? There's always a report from a random anonymous source that claims that Donald Trump said something, and it's always spun to be so negative. Donald Trump's trying to tank ceasefire talks because he doesn't want Kamala Harris to get the win ahead of election day. Where is this coming from? You know where I think it comes from? It came from the brain of a dishonest journalist. It's not like we haven't seen this tactic before. We all remember the last time Democrats tried playing this game. They claimed that Joe Biden was so close. He was so close to passing the most significant border security legislation in American history. But Donald Trump didn't want him to get the win, so he tanked the deal. You know, that was the story, that's what they said, but the truth was, of course, very different. Trump was simply opposing a bill that frickin' sucked. It doesn't get any more complicated than that. That's it, that's all. The bill frickin' sucked, it didn't actually secure the border, it was filled with wasteful pork spending and expanding the asylum system, you know, the system that's currently being abused. It didn't secure the border, so Trump opposed opposed it, as did many other Republicans, but they spun the story completely differently. And now, of course, they're doing the exact same thing. This PBS anchor is claiming that all the reports are suggesting that Donald Trump is doing this thing. But that is a blatant lie. Netanyahu, first of all, denies that he spoke to Trump after reports say that they discussed Gaza talks. And then we've got this report from Reuters working with Axios, where he claims that Trump told Netanyahu to end Gaza war, but criticizes ceasefire call. In other words, nothing new. You know, Trump's actually been very vocal on his stance on the issue. Not to take a ceasefire deal? Did you give him any advice no, about ending the war? Him. He knows what he's doing. I did encourage him to get this over with. You want to get it over with. It has to get over with fast. But uh, have victory, get your victory, and get it over with. It has to stop. The killing has to stop. Yes. I don't know about you guys, but my interpretation is that Donald Trump does not want to see continued bloodshed, but he also doesn't support the idea of a ceasefire. Maybe he doesn't believe in a ceasefire. Maybe he wants more permanent, long-lasting peace rather than just a ceasefire and then same old, same old in the region for the next decades to come. It's actually very clear what his stance is. But of course, the leftist media does what the leftist media does. They're taking his totally benign stance 
science, his personal opinion, and they're pushing a fake news story that they themselves have extrapolated out of freaking thin air. You know, once again, everybody assumes Donald Trump's motives. These leftoids in the media, I guess, have this incredible ability where they can just read Donald Trump's mind, and then of course report it on the news as if it's fact. I mean, what an absolute farce that is. Oh, and by the way, I might as well add that your taxpayer dollars are paying for this. Don't forget that NPR and PBS are government funded, at least partially. You're working your butt off to pay these people's freaking salaries so they can show up on the TV and straight up lie. And honestly, I'm in a little bit of shock. You know, you have this seemingly sweet looking lady on TV, but obviously looks can be deceiving because what transpired in that earlier clip, I mean, it's one of the most unethical things that I could imagine. The way these Democrats in the media think they could just get away with anything. They could just make any statement. You're a freaking journalist, lady. I mean, your job is to make sure that before you say something live on TV to millions of viewers, before you put something out there into the atmosphere, that you at least make sure that it's true, that it's valid, before opening your mouth. But of course, these totally corrupt people have no interest in that. They just want to keep playing these games because they know they're just going to get away with it. This lady and PBS don't care. I mean, they have a way out. They have the plausible deniability element. Well, we're just repeating the reports. And the reports clearly do say that Donald Trump spoke with Netanyahu and advised against the ceasefire. Therefore, we're just reporting on the news. Yeah, except no. First of all, Netanyahu denied the call. Second of all, Trump had spoken to Netanyahu when he visited Mar-a-Lago, and he detailed their conversation. Not once was there any mention of Trump claiming that he was trying to sabotage talks because that would benefit the Harris administration. Yeah, you took the liberty to go ahead and make that claim and make that leap, that massive assumption. Pay attention to the words that they use. Pay attention to their tactics. It's always operating within this gray zone, where they can put their hands up in the air and pretend as if they've done nothing wrong, while at the same time, constantly engaging in behavior that is fundamentally wrong. Some people would even argue evil. Freaking eight years of this nonsense, I hope people are waking up. Almost everything they say about Trump is a lie. Almost all of it, and the stuff that's true is usually a half-true, or it's a manipulated truth that's always skewed towards the negative. Unless Trump says something explicitly, unless he announces that this is what he's doing, I'm gonna hold back any judgment. I'm gonna simply give Trump the benefit of the doubt. The reality is that Trump just has a different view when it comes to policy. And so, yeah, obviously, I mean, naturally, he's not gonna support the current administration and their attempts towards achieving something that he fundamentally disagrees with. That's not a sinister, evil act by the former president. That's called policy disagreement. Trump didn't agree that Biden's fake border security bill would have curbed the crisis, and he was right. But they reported that Trump wanted to sabotage the border security bill because he didn't want Joe Biden to get a win. Maybe he didn't want Joe Biden to get a fake freaking cheap win, a win in the headlines as if he had done something, even though he really didn't do anything except make the problem worse. But this assumption that Donald Trump puts his own political interests above human life and effective policy for the nation, it is a lie being pushed by totally co-opted Democrat shills in the media, paid freaking DNC actors. And I can see right through it because it's the same modus operandi over and over again. It's the same freaking thing. More anonymous sources, more bogus stories, and of course, the usual Trump mind reading. You know, Trump's in a room and he turns the AC down, and his reasoning is that the room's very hot and he wants to cool down, but the media will tell you that Trump is really just a deeply hateful misogynist who wants to make an uncomfortable environment for all the women, and that's the way he enforces his boys club. You know, that's the level of just insane that this stuff reaches. No matter what Trump does, there's always a sinister fascist agenda. F off. Nobody's falling for it. PB PBS News should be defunded because there is no good argument as to why your hard-earned taxpayer dollars should be subsidizing this crap. Anyways, that's pretty much what I got for you guys on this one. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.